Something from another star system has just entered into ours, and it's only the third interstellar object that we've ever seen. In the next few minutes, I'll let you know what it is, why it has some people saying that it might be unnatural, and everything that you need to know as it makes its way out from behind the sun. And maybe we need to chill out a little bit on the whole alien probe headlines thing. Welcome to Rob's Observatory. Okay, so 3i Atlas, or C2025N1 Atlas, that's its comet catalog name, by the way. Remember that word, comet. So this is the third interstellar object of its kind that we've seen, and that's where it gets the name 3i. Three, 3 for third, i for interstellar. And this follows up Oumuamua, which you may have remembered from back in 2017, made global headlines, possibly being a spaceship, some people claimed. And then that was followed by Borisov in 2019. Now the exciting thing and the definition of an interstellar object is that it is not from our solar system. It's not being captured by the sun's gravity, it's parabolic, meaning that it's gonna come into our solar system and then pass on through the other side and leave forever. As it gets closer to the sun, we're seeing it warm up and vent and sublimate off gases and dust. It's formed a coma and a tail, and it's even fired off jets, basically outbursts of gas directed back towards the sun. This is classic comet behavior. For an example of this, let's take a look at two comets I photographed just this week alone. First up, we have R2 Swan. In R2 Swan, we see the perfect definition of a coma, that beautiful, green bubble of gas being sublimated from the nucleus of the comma. And next up we have comet A6 Lemon, which you may have seen in the news. Now Lemon also has that beautiful green coma, and we see two tails. One is dust and one is ionized gas being pushed by the solar wind. So that little tail of two comets had a comet with two tails. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had to. All right, so this is classic comet behavior. What we're seeing from 3i is also what we see from typical comets that are from our solar system as well. Now, is this comet in any way a threat to us? Definitely not. At its closest distance, it's gonna be several hundred million kilometers away from Earth. So very far away, there's no threat there. We're gonna be fine. Why is there so much hype, speculation, clickbait headlines, and YouTube videos about this comet being possibly unnatural or artificial or have some kind of intelligence behind it? Well, that all goes back to our first interstellar visitor, Amuamua, in 2017. With that interstellar traveler, we saw a strange shape, a fast speed, but more importantly, there was no typical tail of a comet and scientists measured what may have been a very small push or acceleration, which can happen with comets, but that I think is what really opened up the door to speculation that there might be some kind of artificial nature or could be some kind of probe of some kind. And of course, when you don't have all the facts or other things to compare it to, it was the first of its kind that we've ever seen. We tend to fill in the blanks, speculate, make up stories, come up with theories, and that's where it all started. So now with 3i Atlas, we're going through that whole process again, and why don't we break down exactly why in this case. First up, we have the size. 3i Atlas is quite large. Early estimates place it at several miles across, uh, being compared to the size of Manhattan. And of course, a big object creates a bigger headline and gets more excitement. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the measurements that we have taken of the comet so far, the spectra of the gases and the metallurgy. The CO2 to water ratio is different and the metallurgy is quite a bit different. They're saying there might be a very high nickel content and people see this different metal and lots of it. Oh, it must be a spaceship but it's really just that difference that's opened up the door to the speculation. But for scientists, this is actually really exciting because they now can collect data on how something formed in another solar system. And it's just new data on another celestial object. And that is unbelievably exciting because we can't travel there. It's come to us and uh, it can really inform us on what another solar system might look like. Third, we have some very loud voices online claiming that this uh, object has done a controlled maneuver and it's um, 
has certain lights on it and all these types of things. And this is all just normal scientific stuff, but they're jumping to conclusions. They're not scientists. They're putting posts on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and all of this for clicks, but none of it's based on any science. The fact is that astronomers have pointed telescopes at 3i Atlas and all the physics that we've seen, all the behavior that we've seen are classic comet behaviors. We're seeing it warm up as it gets closer to the sun. We're seeing it vent off and sublimate gases around it, the coma, the tail that's forming, classic comet behavior, remember? And all the physics of its movements and, and whatnot are very consistent with comets. We haven't seen anything outside of that. So there is absolutely no data right now available by any credible source that says this is anything other than a comet. So that's very important to recognize. So let's talk receipts. If 3i Atlas were artificial, what would we be seeing? A change in movement, first of all. If it accelerated, if it changed course, that would be a pretty clear indicator that this is unnatural. And so far, we haven't seen anything out of the ordinary comet interacting with gravity and off-gassing from interaction with the sun. But that's what we'd be looking for. Second up, power output. Is it giving out heat from a propulsion system? Is it sending out radio waves, radio signals, any type of other radiation that we could detect? So far, absolutely nothing. Is it consuming more power? Like, is it, does it have greater power output than its input? That would be a huge indicator that there's some type of power source involved. So far, absolutely nothing outside of the ordinary physics of a comet interacting with sunlight and outgassing and gravity from the sun. So finally, I think the thing that would maybe be the most obvious of them all is what does it look like? Is there any sign of uh, mechanical engineering or design on the object? So all the pictures we've seen so far have looked like a typical comet being fuzzy, having a tail and a coma, um, but that would certainly be a dead giveaway if, uh, you know, suddenly started looking like the Death Star. Now, believe me, every single telescope at every observatory, including my own, are all gonna be pointed at 3i Atlas when it emerges from behind the sun next week. And, you know, we're all gonna be watching for these things and everyone wants to make a discovery. Every scientist wants to write a peer reviewed uh, paper for a journal to get published. Everyone wants to have their name labeled to something. So everyone wants to find something unique about this, but so far, there has been absolutely anything outside of the ordinary to speak of. We would have heard about it. People would be lining up to tell you about it if it were so. So, so far, absolutely zero indication of anything artificial related to 3i Atlas. So here's what's next. 3i Atlas is currently behind the sun and is set to emerge in a few days. So when it does, we're gonna to have to take a look at its brightness. Has it changed in any way? Is it brighter, dimmer than it was before? We'll take a look at its coma and tail. Is it still appearing to be a normal comet? And what does the coma and tail look like? I mean, it is a different chemical and metallurgical makeup than typical comets in our solar system. So maybe there's a surprise there. Would be interesting. Finally, let's take a look at its trajectory. Is it where mathematics predicts that it should be? Has it altered course? Has its speed or orbit changed in any way? That's something we definitely have to keep an eye on. And I guarantee the whole world will be, including myself, here at the Kitsilano Observatory. So we're going to keep an eye on it. And uh, I think it's most likely an interstellar comet. But that's not to downplay things at all. That's exciting. Scientists will be able to sample it spectroscopically. They're gonna know what kind of chemical makeup this distant traveler has and maybe get a bit of a glimpse into the conditions in a distant solar system for the first time in history that's not of our own. Now that's a headline in itself. It doesn't need any more hype than that, in my opinion. I think that's spectacular. That's amazing. That's hype enough, real science and not, um, you know, social media clickbait. So, of course, I'm going to be photographing it here at the Kitsilano Observatory. I can't wait to share those images with you as soon as I can. So why don't you go ahead and hit like and subscribe for more explorations of space. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for this comet to emerge, try to take a look at Comet A6 Lemon. 
You're gonna find it in the western sky, just after sunset in the northern hemisphere. Grab a set of binoculars, a camera. I saw it with my naked eye here from the city with all the light pollution. And it's beautiful. Its tail's doing all sorts of crazy stuff right now with the solar wind. Well worth a look. So check out this visitor from closer to home while we're waiting for our new friend to show up on our doorstep. That's all for today here at Rob's Observatory. Until next time, Carpe Noctum. Thank <laughs> you.